I've been using this tool uh, for a long time to optimize the database and speed up my websites, but I'm running pretty much all of them. And uh, while there are many solutions out there, I found this one to be uh, the best, including free, um, and involves installing two plugins. Um, one to uh, run a backup before the optimization and the other one to actually optimize the database. Does a really good job. Uh, I've done tests where I've tested before and after um, the optimization and the after optimization. The website uh, speed um, reported to be much faster using uh, page speed insights. So if you um, want to test the speed of your website, go page speed insights uh, or just search for page speed, Google page speed insights, and this will come up and then you can plug in your um, website here and and get Google to analyze it. Um, so this is what we have to do. Go into plugins of your website and add new. And let's type in uh, WP op optimize. Uh, we want installed WP optimize. And we also, once it's installed, want to activate it. While that's activating, we're going to search for the next one, which is called, it's called Updraft. So it's actually Updraft, Updraft Plus. So we want to um, install and activate that. So now we have both of those installed. What I strongly recommend is that when um, this uh, updates or when this backs up your um, WordPress database, uh, it does it onto a third-party cloud provider. So we're going in, going to go into plugins, install plugins, and search or look for Updraft Plus Backup Restore, and go into settings. And then uh, once we're there, we want to go into settings tab. And uh, I've set all of my sites to actually go onto Google Drive. So you want to select the Google Drive leave all the defaults and say save changes. Uh, it may ask you to authenticate with uh, Google to make sure that you are the owner of that Google Drive uh, that you've um, submitted once you've saved the changes. We then want to go into uh, WP Optimize, click on Database. That will bring us to the database page. And we want to checkbox all of it. Really, I have never had any problems checking all of it. I think uh, this plugin is being a bit careful and it's not checking it all automatically for you. So if your website is very, very busy at the moment, you don't really want to do all of it or you want to really do it when uh, during quiet times, just in case. This is kind of a rule of thumb for IT, anything. You don't want to work on it when it's too busy. And the most important checkbox you want to put in here is take a backup with Updraft Plus before doing this. Once we've done this very important checkbox, we're going to say, run all selected optimizations. All right, so the backup's running. The backup's been completed, and now the database is being optimized. It's starting to optimize database tables. It's probably going to give us a list of tables that it's currently working on. Uh, and then it will uh, go on to do the rest of it clean all post revisions, clean all auto draft posts, clean all trashed posts, remove spam and trashed comments, remove unapproved comments, and etc. etc. As you can see now, optimizing table, WP links, uh, WP options, uh, and when it's all done, uh, depending on the size of your website, it, it shouldn't take uh, too long. Uh, normally a few minutes, uh, maybe up to five minutes all up. Uh, if it's a big website, maybe 10 minutes. This is a very small website, so it didn't take very long. It's completed all of them. Uh, now, if you want to check the speed of your website, once again, go on to search for Google Page Speed Insights. It'll uh, direct you to this website. You really want to be checking mobile uh, speed because that's what Google uh, bases most websites on on their mobile speed uh, rather than desktop. So uh, we've run this optimization. It's a very small website. It's dormant. There's not many changes going on. And yeah, the performance is uh, very convenient, 99%.
so that's very good but again um, this definitely is the uh, solution to optimize your uh, WordPress database hope it helps thank you